Hey guys, Lady Locks here, and today I've got this beautiful Corbin. Whoops, zoom that in. There you go. Beautiful Corbin cylinder. I've got it all taken apart so we can have a look at the insides before I pick it. There is the keyway on this. Nothing fancy to done to the core either. And let's have a look at the pins. So we've just got some standards and some spool pins in this one. So standard on number six and number three and the rest are spools. And you can see that the spool pin has a little bit of a larger lip that would be facing the springs. And of course, sticking to the roll, the smaller lip faces the key pins. So it's either the smaller, you know, smaller piece of the spool or a smaller diameter of the pin always faces the key pins to just, you know, if you ever mix up your pins or something like that, um, you know, just keep that in mind when putting them back and always make sure to put them back into the core the way that you got them out. And the just springs, the normal springs. They do feel super heavy duty inside the lock though when you're picking it. These springs feel like monsters and I don't know why that is. <laughs> it gives a lot of pushback. And here's the bidding of the key. Such a nice key. I love the Corbin keys. Just so pretty. It's got that sort of leaf leaf things here. Very cool. But check that out. Pretty wild bidding, huh? And you think that would make it kind of easy, but those are max lip pins there, so it makes it pretty tough. And the rest are pretty high, too, um, other than number six. But the rest of them are pretty high, too. So it, it does give you some trouble picking this. And I'm actually going to be using the Monstrum pick, the Monstrum hook for this picking. Because it is one that you have to kind of bully a little bit. So anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw this all back together and... Um, Let's get to picking. All right, so here is the key. Let's see if the audio works. Check out the bidding one more time. <laughs> I just get a kick out of this bidding. And it also makes this a little bit um, difficult to pick. So this is one lock that the bidding does make a difference, I think. <laughs> okay. Bring this a little bit forward there. Sure you see the front of the lock a little better. And I'm using this profile that's a monster one of the monstrum profiles from Sparrows. It kind of helps to uh, bully these pins a little bit. Because it seems like this one just such a pain in the butt to set any of these pins. I'm actually tensioning counterclockwise because I just found it easier to pick that way. I picked it a few times clockwise and I thought I'd like to try counterclockwise just to see. And I found it um, picked a bit a bit easier that way it seems. But I mean, it's a difficult pick, little pick but this a little bit easier, I felt like. I feel like it, this pin here wants to go a little bit further. Uh, but won't. I don't know. <laughs> we'll try to get into the back there. There we go. Yeah, I kind of keep coming back to whatever this is. Give me some counter rotation. Ah, okay, and I lost my little bit of a false set, I think. Hmm. Yeah, those ones in the front, I don't know. I think uh, I think they're set, but hard to tell. All right, let's see here. Oh, gotta get this. 
this one here. It's giving me some counter rotation, but I think every time I set it, I lose a bit of my false set. Oh, that time it seemed to go. All right. Anything else? No, no, no. Very confusing because this second pin keeps giving me a lot of counter rotation, but every time I set it, it just seems to um, just seems to make me lose my false set. So that can't be. There we go. All right. <laughs> that was the third pin there. That was uh, my problem, I guess. I don't know. Very very crazy little lock. All right. So let's get this gutted. And here's what we've got, oops, which we had a look at these in the beginning, so nothing new here. But yeah, check out that one and six, the super long key pins and super short ones for um, three and four and actually five as well. Such a wild little lock to pick though. Hasn't been very much, it hasn't been very good luck for me. I keep dropping things and <laughs> shooting things across the room and rolling things off my desk. And it's just been a pain in the butt. So cursed. So thank you, Izzy, for lending me this beautiful Corbin. I will be sending this back to you as soon as possible. It's very bad luck for me. <laughs> it was a lot of fun to pick, though. Um, let's have a, another look at the key real quick pretty wild <laughs> pretty wild uh, key there so there you have it all right guys thanks for patiently watching my video and <laughs> um, if you like it please click the like button and if you like my channel please subscribe all right take care guys